Welcome back to PopWarner.com, and right now we are here with tonight's Female Achievement Award winner, Summer Sanders. And first of all, thanks for coming and, uh, and, and coming to our event tonight. Thank you so much. This is such an honor. I was really happy when I got the call. Well, tonight, we're, uh, as you know, we're honoring kids who have excelled both on the field and off the field, something uh, you probably know a little bit about. Talk about the, uh, the importance of academics as you're making your way through, uh, through school and, and also competing athletically. Well, I mean, it's just it's very important in life. I think um, most importantly, uh, when you're at the high school level, it teaches you time management, which mm -hmm. as an athlete, you really need to understand that. And I, and I truly believe that every parent and every kid really wants to be well-rounded. And to do that, you have to take your studies seriously and just as seriously as you take practice and showing up on time for practice you have to show up on time for school um, and then I do think it's important for parents and kids to realize that there has to be some break at some point as well the, the fun factor has to be in there so if you have like a sort of a well balance of those three then I think you have the you know the kid that's ready for life sure and we've heard from a lot of speakers so far that um, you know playing sports eventually that time is going to come where you're not going to be able to play anymore and you obviously got into broadcasting and have had a very very successful career. Is that something that you planned on or is that something that just kind of happened? I wanted to go into television. I wanted to work in television as long as I wanted to to basically swim in the Olympics. It was kind of like an equal goal that I had. So I was very, very lucky that I, I went straight from my sport into sports television. And then I pretty much took every job that came my way just to sort of filter through like what I really like to do versus what I definitely didn't like to do. Um, and I had a lot of great experiences along the way. I, I feel very fortunate that I've had the career I've had. Well, you had the opportunity to obviously compete in the Olympics at a young age. How was that experience? 19 years old in 1992. There's, you know, it's funny because I, uh, my husband just retired from his sport, which is alpine skiing, at the age of 36. Um, so his last Olympics was at, you know, 2006. So let's do my math. He was 34. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like if I was 34 when I competed in the Olympics, I would appreciate it maybe a, right. a lot more than I did when I was 19. When I was 19, it was so overwhelming. And don't get me wrong, it was unbelievable and awesome but when I look at that experience now I think I appreciate it more sure. than I did when I was 19 so um, as a 19 year old I was just I was just trying to survive every day you know and have as much fun as I possibly could both in the pool and experiencing the Olympics and Barcelona and my family and everything Right. And you're going to have a chance tonight to uh, address some of the young student athletes that are out there. What uh, Can you share with us some of the things you're going to talk to them about? I think, you know, the most important thing is to make sure that uh, they love their sport and they're doing it for the right reasons. Um, number two, they believe in themselves and they believe in their teammates um, and to have fun with it. Um, uh, to work hard, have fun, and have that great balance. I think it's a, it's a really important key to a successful kid. Great. Well, thanks for uh, taking time to uh, talk with us yeah, and you. have fun tonight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.